Here's an interview from one of our past shows on Rock and Metal Revival. If you're interested in hearing full shows, go to our Facebook page and check out our list of affiliates for times and places where you can hear Rock and Metal Revival. That's new music from Crowbot. It's called Rat Child. And with us today from Crowbot is lead vocalist Brandon. Welcome back to the Revival. Brandon, how are you doing? Doing great. Doing great. Um, my, my, my belly's a-gurgling, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, you know... Migas has a way to just just bring out the uh, the insides of me. Let me just say that. Well, you know, you got to get uh, a lot of nutrition in now that you're going to be heading off on the road again. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. I'm so excited about this new music and the Ten City Tour. It's got to feel great for you, along with us Crowbot fans, for you guys to be back out on the road. Absolutely. I don't know that my uh, my stomach's ready for more of the gas station diet, but, you know, <laughs> alas, here we go. Hold on, legs. <laughs> nice. Nice. So uh, does the meat, strings, and emotion still hold true in your music, in your musical recipe, seeing how you're doing the, you know, the, the Mexican, Mexican food there? Is that helping? Keep you, Absolutely. Keep you going. I'm pretty sure uh, Bishop's got fingers full of baking groups right now, so <laughs> it, he's always at the ready. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now, hey, Brandon, between the previous album and this EP, I guess during that pandemic, it gave you guys some time to write and recharge for an opportunity to get back out on the road. Is the plan to get out on stage a little more and maybe a full length in 2022? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we are, you know, headed out on this tour and then, um, I don't want to give away all of our secrets, but, um, I think, I think we're going to be locking ourselves in, uh, in, in a, in a place that starts with an S for Mm -hmm. about, uh, three, four weeks. And, you know, it might be a studio, it might be a strip club. I'll Mm. let you fill in the blank there. Or both, um, but whatever, whichever it is, something good's going to come out of it. How about a strip club studio? Oh, oh, oh. come on! Now, now, now nothing gets done. There you go. There <laughs> now you, we're in the wheel. Yeah. There, you, there you go. <laughs> hey, you add some, you add some Mexican food to that, and I'm in. <laughs> nice. Oh, that would be kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, it could, <laughs> could smell pretty bad in there after a while. But yeah. Yeah, talk about smell of it, and yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how did you guys get Frank Bello involved from Anthrax on the Mountain Tune? You know, Frank is such a sweetheart. He has been um, entertaining us by coming to Crowbot shows since, I mean, like the second, third, and we played New York City. Um, that guy is just such an incredible person outside of being an incredible musician and Mm -hmm. you know we've we've always idolized him he's helped us out so much um from jump and it just felt like the right thing and the perfect time to to write a song with him and we we actually wrote a couple of songs but mountain's the one that kind of uh flowed its way to the top and uh it's just such a bear and we're we're so a pleasure to, to, to write it with him and to actually get him involved in recording the track was was an awesome thing too for us so frank's just a sweetheart and that's that's what he got involved he just loves the band and he just uh you know he's so down to earth and presents himself as a person that's approachable and and uh willing to help us out so you know all the thanks to, to, in the world to that guy yeah, cool. You know, now, Brandon, I've seen Crowbot uh, numerous times over the years, and I just love the energy that you guys put out for your audience. It had to be really hard for you guys for a 15-month layoff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I keep saying it, but I don't think since I've started playing, I've gone without playing a show for a year and a half. I mean, that's just definitely the biggest uh, leftover that we've ever had as a band and and the biggest layover i think i've ever had personally as a, a performer too so um everything's a little a little strange um it's a little foreign um it's like do we do we remember how to do this but <laughs> you know once the most memory kicks in and and uh, you know everything's firing on all cylinders it'll be uh, like like we never got the horse you know nice nice now which song which new song are you looking forward to playing for the fans most Ooh man i don't know i i really like uh i really like rat child um there's mm. something just 
definitely like guttural about it and and just nasty. Oh, yeah. And I think that really comes through. And I think a lot of people, the story with that song is when we teased uh, Mother Brain as like being a thing, like we were going to be working on new music, we put a little teaser video and it had Rat Child, the song in it, because we thought for sure it was going to make the record because we loved it that much. Uh-huh. And then it came time to, to making the record and it just didn't make the cut. So it's been this like... Uh, folklore almost uh in the band in, with the fans of like where's rat child where's rat child so we're finally able to get it out there um physically for the listen to and now being able to perform it live so i think um it's, it's been a long time coming for that one cool cool now brandon you guys are going through texas you got a 10 date tour that you're doing and you're finding your way up to wisconsin which <gasps> uh, for me you're coming up the right time of the year but I want to know what it what it is about a place like the Back Bar, where you're going to be playing here on the 17th, where the crowd is right on top of you. There's no photo pit with security and all that good stuff. Because yeah. I've seen you play both festival stages and small clubs, and you guys kill it both. But it looks like you might enjoy that small club venue a little more. Is Am I wrong there? No, not at all. Uh, uh, and this this is we're, we're venturing into Dan Ryan territory. Um, it's, it's his hometown, so... They're they're hmm. even more rabid usually when we get there. You know they've they've had quite a quite a few um, booze in their system, if you will. Uh, and last time we were there, I believe it was it might have been negative degree temperature it at was. some point in the day. <laughs> if it wasn't, it was definitely school degree temperature. <laughs> but we brought out the inflatable pool dragon anyway. We didn't <laughs> care. We just we brought the summer vibes. <laughs> Well, now is Dan's Dan's a Janesville guy, or is he just a Wisconsin guy? He's he's from like the Madison area. Nice, uh, yeah. very cool, very yeah. cool. So uh, now the song "Everybody Dies." How would you get uh, sticks sticks it in you from uh, Steel Panther, one of our favorite bands too? How would you get him involved? That would be a great tour. Because yeah, I'm Steel serious. Panther, there yeah. you go. That would be a great tour yeah. right there. Yeah, that was one of the last tours that we did before the whole pandemic hit, and um, we just had such a blast with those guys. I mean, you oh, can yeah. imagine that, you know, the, the, the show itself oh. is probably the funnest, best time out there, I will I will say, for watching a, a, a live band and what it probably was like in the 80s for those <laughs> bands yeah. to perform, and... You know they they don't turn that off. I mean that's just who those guys are. So <laughs> touring with them was an absolute pleasure. We we you know really got to know them guys really well, and just had had quite the bromance. And Styx is just such a multifaceted, talented musician, and he just played us some of his uh, some of the songs that he had laying around. And he and Bishop was tattooing him, and and uh, we were just kind of like you know, going through going through the playlist, and he played us that piano track, which was just literally a piano track at that point, and we were like, whoa, what's this? This is really cool. Like this is like nothing else we've ever done, but it's got, mm-hmm. you know, we can hear like a Queen kind of vibe yeah. that might go into this. So let's pursue this one. It, and it was kind of. Uh, you know, we were in left field with a bowling ball with that one, but it, it turned out, I mean, we worked on it for like two weeks straight via Zoom session, and it was one of the most productive sessions, um, songwriting sessions that we've ever had with anybody, um, you know, because we like to venture down the roads of like, you know, we'll write with anybody because we know mm-hmm. we'll, we'll learn something, but, you know, working with Sticks was just such a, an awesome process, and we've got, we got so much accomplished. And we're really, really proud of what came out of that that uh, session. And I mean, just what a hell of a writer he is. So, right. so hats off to him. And and uh, you know, it, it's one of those tracks that's, that definitely sticks out. Mm-hmm. So I think it really fits the EP too. You know, mm-hmm. I, um, it's it's a different venture for us. Um, so I think it was like the perfect opportunity to to uh, release a track like that too. You know, now, Brandon, a few years ago, I got to see Crobot for the first time when you guys played the stage at Sonic Boom. And uh, I remember telling Jerry, I go, real rock and roll is back uh, with this band because you guys just bring it. You're no bullshit 
mm-hmm. right out front. You're a, a rock and roll band, and I see that uh, trend coming back a little more. Do you do you see that and hear that uh, with some of the bands that are coming out now? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know when we when we started as a band, Jesus, like almost ten years ago now. Um, that that was that was our whole thing. We just wanted to, you know, stay t- more towards the old school rock uh, end of the spectrum because we felt like the world was missing that in the, the mainstream. And you know, and uh, fast forward now, and and we're we're thankful to be a part of that. And it's it's just definitely coming back. You know, people people are you know say what you will about Greta Van Fleet they're mm. they've really like injected some uh, real real excitement into the old school sound and and uh, turned more heads towards you know the what we do and and we're thankful that that people care about old school rock again yeah yeah definitely now I was checking out your website and uh, what's up with the crub barbecue rub (laughs) i've looked at a lot of band websites and i've I've yet to run across barbecue rub before so so it's kind of like oh i wonder what what's the secret ingredient is there some crowbot stuff crowbot juice or sweat or something in there there's there's always crowbot stag that's always that's always the special ingredient in everything and uh you know we 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 won't won't give away our full recipe but um no i mean to start it started as a joke honestly because we have always had hot sauces and that literally started because we just wanted free hot sauce (laughs) um we put hot sauce in everything yeah (laughs) um and we realized that you know one of these hot sauces actually are selling and people are people are getting into this so we kind of put one out with every record Mm. and we i think it was it was time it was time for a rub it was time for a nice rub down yeah so enter enter the crop. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Now for a serious question. Now the song "Everybody Dies." I know it's uh, kind of a starts off pretty mellow and stuff. You think that could have benefited from maybe adding some cowbell? <laughs> you know, Ooh, right man, with that a, piano opening and then then some cowbell while you're singing the <laughs> pretty lyrics. And, yeah, no, I thought that would sound good. Hey, I, I, I am always a fan. I'm always a fan. Put some gated <laughs> reverb on that thing. There you go. Let it whack a little bit. Put it through a wah wah pedal. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, there you blew go. my mind. There but. you go. Well, Brandon, we are looking so forward uh, to coming out and checking you guys out at the back bar when you're here on the 17th. And uh, it's good to see Crowbot back out on the road because uh, I know this guy right here, I need some live music. And I know there's a lot mm. of other people who feel the same way. So uh, as, as a music fan, we want to thank you for that. And uh, the other thing is, is we always let our uh, our guest pick the song out of their catalog to leave the interview with. What, what you got for us? Ooh. Let's go with everyone dies. Awesome. Might as well because now I feel like I, I feel like we have to show up in Janesville with a cowbell and a wawa pedal. There you go. Oh, dude, oh. that would be so cool. There you go. I got extra cowbells yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, once again, thank you so much for taking time out to be on Rock and Metal Revival today. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me, guys. We'll see you soon.